Here we are in Missoula, Montana. We're going to take a ride on several types of bike facilities. I'll do some commentary along the way. Green paint through the intersection as part of the one-year-old cycle track, a separated bike facility between the sidewalk and parked cars. You cannot go fast on this facility and still be safe. Right here, an alley crosses and a driveway. That's where conflicts can occur. But the facility can also feel really good. You're closer to the pedestrian life and the business life. Now we enter into a, one of the oldest roundabouts in the country, perhaps, Circle Square. It was a double lane, now it's a single lane, though the marking doesn't reflect that yet. There's our beautiful farmer's market. Now we pop back into the cycle track and you can ride in the road like the cyclists ahead or in the track. Again, green helps raise awareness at crossings. You pop out for visibility to motorists. Pop back in if you wish, or you take the lane. Parking meters were decided to be in the strip between the parked cars and the track. Some pedestrians do wander through the track. In general, the cycle tracks are working, but they need improvements, especially at intersection conflicts. Three cyclists were hit over the course of a couple weeks earlier this summer, 2011. It's not a unique danger to cycle tracks. It happens with bike lanes, but it's exasperated in our opinion when the cyclist is tucked behind the parked cars a bit, especially right up here as we approach Broadway and Higgins. Ideally, this could be a single lane roundabout and Broadway, the cross street, would need to go from four lanes to three, a road diet or a conversion of sorts, which has had Two done in Missoula, very successful. Now we transition to a bike lane facility. It's a fairly skinny bike lane, just meets the national standard of five feet. These four travel lanes, shared by cars and bikes, were narrowed from 12 to 10 feet. Parking went from 9 to 8, allowed a 5-foot bike lane. Our strong advocacy is to 3-lane this stretch of road, allowing the bike lane to gain another foot, foot and a half, and to be moved out from the parked cars a foot, maybe two. You can see we have countdown signals in Missoula as of last year. We have mixed feelings about countdown signals it missed. It gives you more information, but you tend to stare at the light a little more, speed up to get through the light. More distraction perhaps. Roundabouts, single lane, usually work much better than stoplights for safety, flow, cost savings. Back to bike facilities. Now we're on the Higgins Bridge. This is part of the bike lane system. Our advocacy is for a three lane Higgins, which means you only need two lanes on the bridge. The sidewalk could be moved out to the bike lane edge, the bike lane, which can be really large in the travel lane. This is good. Motorists are used to seeing bicyclists. The more there are, the more they're seen, and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy or a positive feedback loop. More bikes equals more bikes. As of two months ago, Sharrows put in Missoula 
It says share the lane, everyone, where there's not room quite for a bike lane. Not ideal. This is an interesting stretch. Because there's no one parked currently this morning along this edge, I really can be biking more on the edge. I'm biking down the middle. I want to see if anyone honks or gets upset. And another reason to take this lane right now is I'm going through up at this intersection. I don't want to have someone cut me off and get pinched over on the right side so the motorist can go around. As these are, or at least the first, this is a little trouble, a little tension right there being in the right lane but going through. Now we're on a great section of Higgins. Two lanes, one in each direction. The good bike lane. This bike lane was just epoxy. Epoxy paint last four or five years compared to the water-based paint, which tends to wear off each year. We strongly advocated for this line right here, the inner bike lane line, to be moved over to the left another foot. This travel lane is 12 foot 2 inches, too wide in our opinion. Interstate lanes are 12 feet to facilitate higher speeds, which we do not want in the urban areas with bicyclists and pedestrians. Pets, unexpected things on the road, which makes for good life in the city often. The city refused to move this lane line, though they've been really cooperative and um, in a sustainable mindset in many cases and several bike lanes have been widened. We'll do more video on how that happened, where it happened, and the beneficial effects. The final little piece of this clip is coming up. We played a strong role in getting a modern single lane roundabout in Missoula. Look back, signaled my hand, come take the lane, look left, see a good easy gap, taking the lane, good visibility, this traffic continues to move, whoops, I should have yielded there, very calm area, and we move back into the bike lane. Roundabouts tend to save lives, save gas, save money, and make a community more sustainable. See us on the web at strans.org. Thank you.